Shalom. All praises to the Most High. Yeho, Yehoshua. This is Sounds from Wild Wild Wild. All right. So I'm going to have to be fair. Before I do this, y'all have to understand that I can't use my real audio interface when you're screen recording. So that's already a flaw. Like, so the interface that I'm, you know, the, what I have to use for the video recording, it sucks. It's not the best. So what we would do is judge off of this and in our imaginations, compare it to if we was using our ASIO audio interface that is compatible. Right now I have to use voice meter virtual and voice meter virtual is 128 samples. The lowest I can go for us to delay. Okay. I can't use my regular, you know, uh, interface because it just won't record. You won't hear no sound or nothing like that. So we know how that go. All right. So just to let you see, this is the processing. Um, it's already on enable low latency. Uh, so reasons will have the same settings. I make sure of that. All right. Now, if I had this on my audio interface, I can definitely use more instruments before the CPU shoots up or distort or crack or turn to red. This right here at the bottom. Okay. So let me, let me delete these right quick because it's already looking crazy. So as you can see, let me delete this instrument, this, this drum machine, even though it's no sounds in it. Let me get this out the way. All right. So it's clean. 48 hertz. Um, reasons would be on the same settings. Okay. So up here is multi instruments. It's the same thing as the combinator, right? That's where everybody get the idea from is the combinator. Now, Studio One has a dope concept how you can rig your stuff up too inside of this. It's dope. It's it's more simplicity, but you know, they both got their pros and cons. So we're not worrying about the sound. We're just gonna worry about the the CPU. So remember, we only comparing this to if I'm making beats inside, if I'm making beats on my audio interface. I would have it at 256 because I could actually go higher and still not deal with low latency because of how good my audio interface is. That's a fact. That's a fact. So let's do this. So I'm going to go to multi instruments. These are the multi instruments right here. Go to chorus. I'm going to go to big band. Drop that in. Right. It's a loading process, always in Studio One. This is this is what it do, and I got a powerful computer, man. I mean, you know, even when you press the button, sometimes see I press the record button, it takes a minute to to turn red. Watch this. There you go. It's a process every time when you drop something in, and again. My specs is crazy, man, on this this computer that I have. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just drop some instruments in. Once this peak right here, I will stop and count how many instruments inside of this combi. Okay. So I'm going to play some notes first. And what I'm going to do, let me turn this down first. We, we're not worrying about the sound. So let's, let's record this. Okay, so that's one. So all I'm going to do is just go grab another instrument and close this. I'm going to just alt and copy it. 
That's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to bring the volume down on this joint and just play these back. So it's already in the red. It's already shooting up crazy, distorted, so on and so forth. So matter of fact, because sometimes when you have this selected, it shoot up more. See how, see how it's looking right here? But watch when I turn this off. That's Studio One. That's our function. You turn this on, the monitor button on, where the record button, it shoots up. Watch this. I turned, I pressed it. It's taking a minute to come on. Press the button. When it comes on, watch what this shoot up. There you go. So what I'm gonna do to be fair, I'm gonna have to. I'm, when I, after I add a couple of instruments, I'm gonna turn to make sure this is off. Okay. So. I won't play the more instruments. I don't have to record nothing no more. So I could just play them back. Uh, let's get another one. <laughs> Close that. All right, let's go to another. Let's go to deep flight zone. All these is combis. I mean, they have more VSC instruments inside of them. And this is stock. This is not third party. Normally, third party cause more CPU problems than stock. That's why, you know, I only deal with stock now. I don't deal with third party stuff as much. You know, like I said in my previous videos, the only third party stuff I deal with now is probably like auto tune and, you know, uh, a few other Jones, but. When I'm in reasons, I don't use no third party stuff. I just use REs or already what's built in. It's great already. All right, anyway. So let's art this, art these three. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Let's play this back. I'm sorry about that. Let's turn these down. Because we're not worrying about the sound. We're just worrying about the how it played. Okay. All right. So what we gonna do? Let's let's test the waters. Let's let's keep going. Close that. Matter of fact, let me just grab a few of them. See, it takes a minute to load up. They're like. Let me just grab that one, that one, that one. Studio One got a lot of good simplicity, man. Don't get it effed up. They simplicity is great. I love it. I've been having, I've been, I had this door since the first version. Since it first came out, I put a lot of people on Studio One. And they thought I was drawling about uh, when they so focused on FL Studio and, F, you know, uh, Pro Tools, you know, nothing can beat Pro Tools. They like, they're just like, nah, nothing can beat that. I get it. Now, so many people running the reasons. I mean, not reasons, but uh, <laughs> Studio One now. Like I told y'all, give the, don't close your mind. Give things a chance first. Let's keep. Let's go down. Let me add these. Let's press play. Oh, as a matter of fact, let me make sure the volume is down on these John. Okay. But the thing is, if you if you select that, it's gonna shoot up like crazy. So so okay, so now you gotta keep this in mind. Let's say you had okay, let's say you had uh a few of these you already played. And you see, it's not even. I press the, the the record button, you know, already, and it's taking a long time. Let me click it again, and by me clicking, it might freeze up. Anyway, let me uh, thought it. Hold on. 
See, it's doing a lot of freezing up. Already. I have no applications running in the background. I'm unconnect I'm I'm not connected to the internet. I uh, I'll turn that off. All right, let's wait. Let's be patient. See stuff like this. I I I do a lot of testing on stuff like literally, man, on dolls. Like I got so many dolls. I do a lot of testing on these Jones. You know. So, let's select this record. Okay. All right, so it's not shooting up. That's good. I think that's a bug. Oh, now, now it stays up once you play it. But if I turn it off, you know, it goes down. Turn it up. Let me see if it jump again. All right. The point is what I want to show everybody is that If you're making your song, because a lot of people like to make big files when they do music. If you're making your song, if you got a couple tracks and more tracks as you go, you know, you're recording with it. It's a See, right now I'm copying everything down, but it's a difference when you're making your music and you have to press that record button to record the next MIDI. All right. So keep that in mind. And then now when once I click on it. You know, it just freezes. All right, so now let's let's go. Let's add a few more. All we doing is just testing. You know, uh, how the CPU function with decent computers. And how slow it lags. And now remind y'all. Even when I'm using my regular audio interface, Studio One still freezes up, man. It still take a long time to load everything up. And this is the stock. This is not like the 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 third party joints like the orchestras and the symphonies and dumb powerhouses, man. <sighs> Bro, you get those, you having a serious problem. You might only use like one of them Jones. Like you creating. You got to go through all this. Like, it finally downloaded them. Okay, so that's... Let's, um... Let's copy the MIDI on these. Now, remember, keep in mind, if you're pressing the record button, it's a different ball game. Because now, like, if, if, if I drop... Let's say if I drop this one. All right, a, a new one. And let's see how this works. And I want to play the MIDI with everything that I said I have. Let me make sure the, the volume is down on these. Because it mess everybody's ears up. Turn them down. And I'm like, you know what? Let's, I want to record this. Record this with it. Let's go. It takes a minute to kick in. It's like it's just it, it yo, it been like this since version three or two, man. Two three, I think three. Yeah, it's been like this since three, man. But anyway. Now you see when I'm ready to play, you see where shooting up at? So yes, we know you can bounce the tracks and bounce the audio tracks and right click and transfer the audio. But the point is, you're trying to get the creativity out. And with me, the type of producer I am, I like to keep my MIDI. I don't really, I don't like the bounce shit. Why? Because I like to go back and boop, 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 change certain stuff, tweak this, tweak that. Yeah, you can go back on the audio, tweak this and tweak that as I go. As I go and all that, I might want to, matter of fact, I don't even want that one. Take that one out, delete that one, boom, drop that one in. Go go down here to the instruments and, you know, and drag that in and drop that with a new sound. That's what I want to do. I don't want to, you know, so I don't like to change it. Some people say, you're turning the audio. Nah, I like to keep the MIDI. 
because I can go and also go inside the notes and freak the notes and everything and boom, boom, boom. As I'm going, I got to sit here and wait. I got to sit here and you no know, unfreeze it, freeze it back, freeze it, unfreeze it back, freeze it, unfreeze it back. That's dope. But nah, man, that's the whole purpose of getting a powerful computer. So you don't have to go through that. Now, I'm a guy where I don't even make huge projects when I'm producing. I don't have to make huge projects. Some people go crazy. 30, 40, 50, 100, 200 tracks. Like, what the hell are you trying to do? Burn your computer out? But I don't do all that. I, I, I really go... I normally don't go no past 10 tracks when it comes to production. You know, I don't have to go past 10 tracks most of the time. So, anyway. So, I want to play this. And I see where it's shooting up at right now. So if I want to play this, I'm going to have a problem. I got all this and I want to play this, I'm going to have a problem. Right? But if I, you know, like I said, if I turn it off, you know, it's cool. Let's play this back. Turn this down. Okay, because remember, again, when you plan it and you turn that on and plan it, you're going to run into problems, but we're just copying everything now. So let's go up here. Let's go to layers. We're going to go to layer. All these is, matter of fact, we're going to stay in here in this folder, dimensions, dimension lead notes. We're going to hide the hyper cores. I'm just grabbing anything. I don't know exactly what's in them or what they carry. You know, let's go right here. See what this see what this baby do. See how long it take to load these up. These presets. And everything I'm doing in here, I'ma do inside reasons. I'ma grab them and drag and drop them drones inside. Man, can't tell you what the hell I just do. Open auto copy, but I ain't anywhere. And then I don't want to mess around and make a mistake and click something because sometimes if I click something while it's doing this, it'll freeze and straight just uh the whole door will shut down. So you making music in front of people and all that, and you in the vibe and the mode, this is what you gotta go through. All right, so now let's uh now if I turn this on right now, let's see what it do. If I press play, I just press play. It's not even playing. It's gonna take a minute to play. There it go. So it's shooting up as we see right now with this selected. So okay, cool. Just remember. The real, when you're really creating your music, you have to press this record button that, to keep, unless you just want to copy down. We're just doing a quick process like this. So we're just doing a quick process. Let's play this back. Let's make sure these tracks is not too loud. Okay, that's pretty decent. All right, it's handling well. Let's go get these right here. I get it when it's freezing up, trying to load up more than one when you drop it in. But it does the same thing when you even do uh, one. Even when you just, if I just go, to, matter of fact, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go get a regular VSC instrument and just drop one, at, just a single one, not a combination. All these are combinators, basically. And I'm going to open them up and let y'all see what's in them. And we're going to count how many it is where it's shooting up at. So 
So we also got to take in consideration is that technically all these sounds won't be playing together when you really producing your music. We're just trying to get an estimate of how it can handle CPU, everything playing together. So that means that if it can handle a CPU pretty good this way, we know for a fact it will handle a CPU when you have a few playing right now, a few playing coming in, a few playing on the hook. If you plan on the verse, the chorus, the bridge, so on and so forth. We know that. All right. Let's turn these down. So let's press play. So it says 7985, it's crackling a little bit. You can hear the crackle. So you gotta expect once it start crackling or hit to the top, it's gonna slow down and freeze up and stuff like that. Cool. We get that. Everything has a limit. But it was already doing that at the beginning on the first one. So now let me just go to an instrument. Let me go to the presence. I'm just gonna get a brass. Go get a brass. I'm gonna find a French horn. Drag that and see the load up time. Okay. Select that boom. All right. All right. So Right now, it's handling pretty well. So what we're going to do, this is what? Actually, 90, damn near 95, 95 tracks, man. But it's really more instruments than that. So we're going to start up here, open this one up. And I'm going to click right here. One, two, three, because if you click, it's basically the stock Jones, you know, instruments. Each one carry their own sounds, have different effects on, turn different knobs, so on and so forth. You click flute, flute, same thing. You know, you click tenor, same thing. You know, this is the uh, presence, XT. Presence play every instrument. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to go to the next one right here. So it's going right here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 526, 536, 738, 3940, 4142, 4346, 
Titi na 76 76 so what I'm conf I'm confused 76 but it's more than It's 76 instruments inside the combis, but it's only shown 1 through 29. Hold up. They changed something there. Hold up. Oh, I see what it's doing. It's counting 32, 3 to 4, 35. So if you on... What number did I say? I think it was 78 plugins, I think so. Okay, so 32. So I click on 32. 3 to 4. 32, 3 to 4, 5. That's 3. Okay, I see what it's doing. It's counting... Eight five six seven eight. Oh, I see what it's doing. They're eight. They're not forty forty one forty two forty four forty five six seven forty nine fifty two three four five six seven eight nine six one six two seven six eight nine seven one two six. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's right. It's make. I, I it make. I get. I get what it's doing. All right. So it's seventy eight uh, instruments and. I mean, I ain't going to play that many, but. But as you can see, we know that. You know. Studio One be freezing. Like, this is the fact. Studio One freeze even when I have my regular sound card and everything. Like, the same thing is doing with this. And this is less. It still do the same thing even with the. What I got it on 256 and so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm play this back. So like 70, 80 percent is already shooting. It's like 70 something. All right, cool. So what I'm about to do next, I'm gonna stop this video, then I'm gonna open up uh, reasons, and then I'm gonna show you the same information. Hold on. All right, so we in reasons now, in reason and. We do the testing on here. So let me show you. The set is the same thing. You know, 48. We're using the ASIO. The same thing we had to use. 128 samples. You know, just to let you know. Give you the update. The same situation. Same settings. All right. So we ain't worrying about the sound. We just want to see how much it can take. So I'm going to just play this first joint.
that we're going to build around. All right, so we're just going to keep that. We're just going to loop that John right quick. We're just going to loop that. And right here is the CPU. Right here. It's the DSP workload. But the thing with this, reason don't show no on numbers, man. That's one thing I don't like. They don't show numbers, but you got a, you got a couple notches. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think six notches. One, yeah, six notches. So... I say like round the fifth notch. That's round eighty something, I guess. I guess how you do it, ninety something, eighty something, B plus. <laughs> All right. So uh, bring the level on that drawing down. So I'm about to just pull a bunch of combinators. You feel me? I'm gonna just go through different joints, and I'm gonna drop them. And I'm gonna just go through bell. Same thing I did with the other dog. I don't know what's what. I'm just trying different stuff. Um, Kamalaya. Uh, trying different stuff. I'm gonna go to orchestra because they normally be CPU intensive. Let's go pull some of these joints out. Um, for Orchestra. Pull that out. Let's, um, pass. Pass normally be CPU intensive, definitely. The pass normally be man. Eat up some power. They love to eat up some power, man. Grab. Let's grab another one. So, let's go to performance patches. I don't know, you know, one finger chords. Again, these combinators. So, they the same thing like the multi instruments in Studio One. There's a whole bunch of sounds just put together. All right, so let's pause right here. See what we're dealing with. So, let me copy this. Let's go and drop the MIDI notes down here. So you gotta test your product out, man. You gotta test your stuff out. A lot of people don't understand, like, man, they just get in this, like, want things to be like wild out for them. Like, sometimes that's how you find out stuff. You gotta play with it. You gotta test it out. You know, you gotta test what you, what you dealing with. So let's bring the levels for these down so it don't shock you. All right, so let's play this back. Okay, so this shooting right here, we're going to kind of like get it to like the same notch. Uh, well, as you notice that when I was dropping the instruments in here, they was actually dropping in pretty quick. They wasn't freezing up at all, you know, and even if I, you know, press the record button, there's no freezing up. And this is all stock stuff. Let's go to instrument. Let's go to regular instrument. You know, grab, you know, I don't know what. Uh, let's grab this right quick. That's a single instrument like I did in the other joint. Not wins. I'm going to go to voice. Do up. So bring the level down. So now you can tell it's jumping up to the jumped up to the red one time. You know, so this is at its mark. I think it's crackling. And remember, y'all, this is not the real audio interface. The real if I'm using my regular audio interface, it actually takes more. You know, it takes more, definitely. Um, 
even if it's on you know uh one twenty eight so in studio one we we was able to use round seventy eight plugins seventy eight v s c instruments of stock you know before it start acting all crazy so let's let's count what we got right here since this is jump let's play it back one more time. I don't even think I think this I think that's a sample that making that crackle noise because the door is not peeking. But we gonna we gonna just pause right there, like we gonna pause right there, man. <laughs> so what we gonna do? We gonna start counting stuff. Um, so we gonna start at the first. Wait, we gonna start at the ones up here. This one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Go to this one. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 39, 40, 31, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 50, ain't nothing in that 50, 50, Ain't nothing in there. 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 110, 111. So that's 111 plugins. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, this is just another. Playback. It's just a hundred, hundred and eleven effects and instruments trying different. And I know some people gonna get on and be like, "Yo, yo, you know, you shouldn't use the uh, you know, you gotta only use a certain one." Listen, man, let fuck all that. We, I'm just dragging instruments, plugins in to see what it can deal with. It's combinators. That means there's a whole bunch of things playing together. There's a whole lot of effects. Everyone, even the EQs, even the mixers, they all, you know, the take CPU. And reason to handle it better. And on top of that, when you drag and drop, you go press record, you go press record, it, 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 no problem. You don't got to deal with that. You don't got to worry about the meter shooting up when you press record, the meter button, whatever it is. And it's just it's just fluently, man. You know, matter of, you know, let's let's that's what it is. But that was one hundred and ten, I think so. One hundred and ten. So you got to remember, if it was on the regular audio interface, that's even more. So for Studio One and Reason. So yeah, if I think I test something wrong or different, give your opinion.
just in a cool way. It just, you know, to test things out. This is why, why, be why. Peace.